Become a Golden Knight today and never miss a video by clicking that subscribe button and that bell. Anyway, on with the video. Hello my Golden Knights, it's Richard Schultz here and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Now this episode is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be doing some off-roading here on the Utah map. Uh, we're over somewhere near uh, Juniper Grove, apparently. Um, but before we actually do get started uh, and actually start doing that, um, I did want to mention uh, something really quickly. Now, obviously, our upload schedule has been absolutely terrible uh, on our channel, so we're going to have to, uh, to uh, change that, I think. But I cannot do that without your support. So what I want you to do right now, pause the video. I don't, I don't want to see you still still watching this. Go down into the comment section and type in any game that you can think of. Any game that maybe I've played in the past or that you want to see me play uh, in the future. I was really thinking about just trying out some uh, indie games. I know that when I was streaming a while ago, you guys asked me a lot to do some horror games, so we might have to give that a go. Uh, who knows? Um, maybe you just want to see more BeamNG Drive, and if so, just give me some ideas for that, because I am very quickly running out of them. So, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this video. Sit back, relax, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going to need is some sort of vehicle to base our off-roader off. Now, we're actually going to build an off-roader today and then take it off-roading. So, let's take a look here. I am kind of wanting to go with maybe one of these, but we kind of need to decide whether we're going, you know, for a really kind of like a lightweight or if we're going for something super, super heavy. Uh, I reckon we want to go more on the heavy side, so I think... We might actually have to give one of these a go. I think that, that this uh, Gavril Roma is has some really cool off-road variants, but I don't really want to base it off anything like that. So maybe we can just find a model just to kind of play around with. Okay, I think I've decided. Uh, we're going to base it off of the V8 uh, four-wheel drive LXT, the, uh, the automatic version. Um, and once it spawns in here, we can go ahead and change the colors and all sorts of other things uh, in the uh, configuration. There we go. Okay, cool. So this is going to be the vehicle that we're going to start uh, our off-roader off of. I think we should probably start with the suspension stuff. We might go for off-road independent front suspension and I guess heavy duty rear suspension or is that not really going to work? Maybe we have to go for the off-road leaf strings for it to... Yeah, there we go. It's all balanced out now. Nice. Uh, and then we should also have some stuff done on the front. Perhaps uh, that's the... Probably We probably want the locking front differential, I think. Yeah, that, that's, that's what we want. That's the one we want. Um, and then we also want uh, the same for the rear one as well. So we get two options right there. Um, and then I think that... Oh, no, we might want to go for some shocks. Let's go off-road rear shocks. And can we do off-road... Ooh, that does not look... Does that look right to you? No, that kind of looks... It looks like it's taking up less space. Hold on, let, let's remove these... Uh, these shocks and put whatever was was back there before. Yeah, that looks a lot more balanced out. Okay, that, that should be good. We just really need the shocks mostly at the front anyway. Okay, let's have a look here. What else can we do? I know there's a bunch of stuff. We could start just shedding weight. We might try and get rid of the seats in the back if that's possible. Yeah, we'll get rid of those to try and save some weight because uh, that's going to be a big problem. Let's whack a snorkel on there. Uh, for reasons, we've got to pick the colour as well. Oh, we've got to pick that too. Okay, let's go for... We want, to, we want to pretty much leave the interior relatively stock. Although I wouldn't mind maybe changing the colour. Yeah, the colour. Let's go for a grey in there. That looks quite a fair bit better. Alright, let's also go for the off-road front bumper because that looks just awesome. Um, and we might also go for whack an antenna on there. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, rear one, I wonder if there's an off-road rear bumper. Yes, there is. That looks awesome. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, let's see, is there anything else that we can do over here? 
No, not really. Nothing, nothing that really shows up here. So let's maybe go and add. What are these? Oh, that's part of the uh, police pack I've got. Nope, we don't. We don't want that. All right, there's the roof rack back. That's what we need. Okay, let's. I think that's pretty much it, and I think we can just just about move on to color. Oh no, no, I've completely forgotten. You guys were probably shouting at me through the screen. We have completely forgotten uh, to include tires. We need some off-road tires on this thing. Let's have a look. Let's open up this wheel menu here. Okay, so... I reckon we can maybe go for the black ones. Like, we can still keep those wheels, but let's go for the black. Right there, the black color. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Uh, and now I'm not sure. They look like they maybe have all terrains. No, they're just heavy duty. Uh, all terrain. That's what we want. Uh, where's the front wheels? Uh, no, that's wheels. We need tires. Uh, all terrain. There we go. We got the all terrains on. So I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. Now we just have to pick the color. Now I reckon we go for something simple. I reckon maybe just a silver for the for the whole thing. Do you reckon silver? That looks pretty cool. I quite like that actually. I I do really like that one. Uh, are there any, like, additional modifications that we can do? Not really, actually. There's not a whole lot of stuff we can do with that. But honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks like a pretty nice-looking off-roader. It's obviously, you know, a longer wheelbase. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not, you know, one of the giant crazy ones. But honestly, I think this could pretty much go anywhere. Um, but anyway, we're going to set off and try and find a place to... Uh, do off-roading. So I don't think we're going to have massive clearance, but I've got a feeling that this should do the job, especially since we have uh, we can lock both the front and back differentials. Um, so that's going to be really, really important for us um, when we're actually off-roading. I mean, that's pretty much, you know, like that that's the most basic thing that you really need um, is a locking differential. Uh, let's maybe go down here, because that just looks like it goes up into the mountains, and I don't think we're going to find uh, much there. So let's just carefully edge our way down into the uh, the bottom of this, I don't know what I'd call this, a valley? Canyon? Canyon, perhaps? I'm not sure. But anyway, let's... Ooh, stuck on a bush there. Okay, let's let's just crawl over some of these mounds. See what, see what I mean about ground clearance? We've just bent one of the running boards that we've got there. Um, so that's no good, but we do have the uh, off-road bumpers, so that will hopefully mean that we get some more clearance at the front, because this is a very long vehicle that does not have massive uh, tyres on it. I don't think we're going to need our diffs for, for that one, that's looked really straightforward. Um, let's try and just keep making our way. This almost looks like some sort of riverbed, is what it actually looks like. Um, but yeah, no, I really love off-roading in, uh, in BeamNG. I think that it is really fun, and if you actually do break your vehicle, which is very easy to do, uh, you can get a bit, you can get into a lot of, a lot of problems. Uh, okay, let's try and make our way up this. This isn't really designed for rock crawling, but we'll see how it goes. That took that like a champ. That was awesome. I've, I, I know that this is kind of where I come off-roading a lot of the times that I, I bring some vehicles over there. And I know that that particular little thing there is a real struggle. We really want to avoid these stones, though, because I don't have that much confidence <laughs> in uh, its rock crawling abilities. Some sort of abandoned mill up there or something like that. We should probably try and make our way up uh, at some point to try and check that out. Ooh, that, that, was, that almost looked like it was going to be a really tight squeeze, but luckily it, it really wasn't. We can even do some first person here. I know that uh, some people last time were saying, you know, do some third person stuff. I think I was it was when I was using the uh, the wheel actually, which I'm not by the way. If you can tell, I'm obviously using um, a controller because I don't think my arms could move that quickly that I'm doing right now. Um, okay, let's go up here and see if we can find a way out. There's there's another place where we can continue on the off roading. Oh, what did I just hit myself on? I've broken one of the running boards. That's not good at all. We should probably just... Yeah, no, let's just, let's just leave it. Let's see how that goes. Okay, we've we found a road. It's obviously an unsealed road, but better than nothing, so we can quickly check out this mill um, really, really quickly. There's not a lot going on over here, I'll be honest. 
Yeah, it might be a little bit of a letdown. There's the entrance to uh, that kind of cave there, but it's not a whole lot. And I think this... Oh boy. This looks really dangerous. Let's just go over here. It would be so cool if in BMNG it, it could break. That would be amazing if your vehicle's too heavy. Um, that looks like it's a bit of a jump. I don't think I'm going to attempt that today. Oh boy. Hold on, we've just got to carefully reverse off because I, I haven't had to repair my vehicle yet. Um, and I don't really want to start now, if I am honest. Let's try and just reverse that back there. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. And we can just back her up there and keep her going. It almost looks like this vehicle is actually based off of... I, I almost want to say Land Cruiser, but I know that a bunch of people are going to shout at me in the comments saying, uh, no, it's not a Land Cruiser, it's a GME something, 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 and I've got no idea, okay? I just, I'm just... We don't have those in Australia, so I'm really just trying to base it off of something that looks like it. Careful. Well, it's really bouncy, this. I don't, I'm not sure if I made a mistake with the suspension when setting this up. That was a tight squeeze there, but yeah, we're going to continue up and down this uh, riverbed. We want to keep stick to the riverbed there, because I know that that looks super, super bumpy there. We're going to even try and give it some speed. Ooh, that, that might be a mistake. Yeah, I don't want to go off there. That would be a really bad thing to do. Alright, I, I kind of want to see if I can go up that. There's, there's an easier way up there, but I want to see if I can go this way. Um, let's see if we can get out of these rocks. Yeah, there we go. We haven't really broken anything through that. Let's see if we can get up this. I reckon it'll have the power. No! Look at look at the back wheel jiggle when I do that. My goodness, look at that. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay, let's... Uh, we're gonna have to lock the front differential, I think. Unless we also need to do the back. We might have to do the rear one as well, just to get that extra grip. Yes! Oh, you beauty. Well done. Oh, man. I, I actually didn't think it was going to uh, to be able to do it, but there you go. Our first little uh, realistic off-roading uh, portion of the video. Uh, I'm not sure how realistic this, this really is. I, I've never been off-roading in my life. Uh, but it's always been something that, that's, you know, kind of interesting, I guess. Again, sticking to the riverbed, it actually looks like some sort of path has been forged. I'm not sure whether that's by the river or if this is a vehicle path, it might actually be a vehicle because we've just joined up with a big road. That looks super steep. Should we try and attempt it is the question. Doesn't look like there's much more off-roading opportunities over there, so we might just try and test and, and see. Oh, I think we lost one of the, the running boards. Let me back up and see where we lost it. I have no idea where we lost that. I might have to do an action replay there. Alright, let's just gun it and see if we can make it up this massive hill without locking any of the diffs. We're keeping a steady pace at the moment and I think we're about to stop. Yep. Okay. Handbrake on. Oh no, I forgot I don't have it in realistic. Realistic would help. Okay, there we go. We got the brakes on. Let's see if we can lock. We're just going to have to do both. Because I don't think it's going to get up any other way. Come on. Grip, grip, grip. Don't want to be spinning the tyres up here. Come on. Oh my goodness. It's just about doing it. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. The, the engine's about to overheat while doing this. I'm just... I'm completely flat on the throttle. There we go. Okay, we've just o we've overheated the coolant um, slightly. We might just wait for that temperature to go down because we don't want to boil over. Um, we can unlock the diffs though now, um, but we do want to let it cool down. So maybe we can just kind of carefully get over to the side and let it cool down. We also probably want to get some air into the radiator. So we might have to keep driving just for the sake of... Uh, not overheating, uh, I think. Okay, let's keep going up here. I've actually never, ever attempted that thing there, so that was totally new. Uh, but let's get around here. It looks like this is a main road. I was not expecting asphalt up that massive cliff. We might actually have to go down. 
I reckon we should go down though. But we've got some issues with our with our car. It looks like it's it's telling me in the uh, the bottom left that our front right door is actually broken, but it's it, or damaged, but it, it's just not. So anyway, we're gonna go back down, and hopefully this goes well for us. Oh man, this is full on the brakes and it's still sliding. Okay, we might just have to carefully not let it get out of control. That's full on the brakes again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've made it back out again. We want to keep an eye on that temperature. It's out of the danger zone now, so we should be all right. Now, I'm going to stick to the riverbed here. Uh, interesting thing. Uh, there is a dried up riverbed, but no actual river. Um, so there's no way to really test out our snorkel. We might have to head back the way we came, actually, and see if we can change that. I don't think we're going to get up this. Hold on, let, let's, I guess, figuratively step out of the car. Honestly, it's 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 a bit of a cliff, but I think we might be able to do it. Let's, let's see if we can get a bit of a run-up for it. No problems. Man, okay, I guess it just wasn't as... You know, steep as I thought. Uh, okay, then. Uh, the V8, it's it's no match for the powerful V8 that we have under the hood, or bonnet, as we say here. Okay, we've got another little uh, issue here. We might just have to... Come on, we could probably do it with a run-up. Oh, no! We have done it! That's no diffs. We haven't locked the diffs at all, but it is an all-wheel drive, and we've put the good tyres on. Uh, so, you know, that might be uh, changing things a little bit. Are my wheels out of alignment because it kind of keeps turning left? I think that might be a thing that may have happened. It might have been the running board or, or something like that, but that looks... Yeah, that's that's turned to the left. That's that's not me. That's just already turned to the left. We might have to uh, find a place just to... Yeah, let's just stop on the side here and uh, do some repairs. Okay, we've repaired it, and uh, we've magically gotten back our... Alright, we've repaired our vehicle, and we've magically got back our running boards and everything like that, and the wheels are no longer out of alignment, so we're going to be able to continue over here. Uh, yeah, not going to attempt that one in a million years, um, but let's just continue down the riverbed here. Okay, this is going to be tight, but I reckon we can get up it if we just have a little bit of a run-up. Come on! Grip. Grip. No, more rock crawling. Oh no, come on. Yes. 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 Oh, we might just have to use the diffs just to get... Yeah, just, just to get over this last little obstacle unless we can do some wiggling around. I am impressed with this thing. This is probably the best off-roader I've ever created in uh, in BMNG. I've got to say it. It's It's... That it's it's just insane. How is it doing this? <laughs> How is it doing this at all? I I, I don't know. Maybe this is really the best off-roader uh, in the game. I I have played uh, we, around with with quite a few of them, but this seems to be doing amazing. They should just make this a, a variant that people can quick select. You know, something that gives a slight challenge, um, but isn't too bad. Because I know that there is uh, some big off-roaders that you can actually select. I'll show you actually. Uh, if you go in here to uh, to vehicles and you go down uh, to the car that I'm using currently, you can see this off-road ones, and they've got, you know, turbos and everything, and they sound really, really weird, and they've just got tons of power. They're basically like, oh, I don't even know. They're, they're basically like drag racing cars, but, but with a bunch of off-road gear. It's just not good. But I, I like the sound of just the regular V8, and, you know, just obviously, you know, the vehicle of someone who's obviously put a bit of cash into it, but hasn't you know, gone all, you know, David Attenborough recovery vehicles or anything like that. Uh, this looks to be some more rock climbing up here, but we might just go off here to the right uh, and see if we can get out of this this way. Look at that! We did get a bit of a run up there, but my goodness. And wow, look at the valley. We've traveled all the way down there as far as the eye can see. Uh, and we've managed to uh, to survive. So I think that pretty much concludes the off-roading test. But I'd love to get that snorkel working. Alright, we have made our way back over to the campsite where we started. And we're going to head down to the river um, here just to uh, to see how our vehicle fares with uh, wading in some water, I think. Um, and we'll kind of go along the, uh, the dirt path and hopefully make our way over to that bridge. 
uh, and then that should conclude us. So let's go around here um, and see what we can do. This this is a pretty easy river crossing here. That that's purpose built. That's that's no problem. Doesn't even slip. I, lo I love how it just we don't even slip. We don't slide. We don't even let the current take us. That's one of the benefits of having a, such a large off roader. Um, and we can try and get some speed up here. I mean, it's a nice dirt road. We're going about yeah, that's a hundred kilometers an hour now. So we are going pretty quick. It's honestly a pretty nice car to drive. It handles pretty well, even though that it's been lifted um, a bit. It, it's honestly not too bad at all. We might try and cross over here. Let's do a little little test. This looks pretty deep. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, well, it, it's kind of halfway on the radiator there that we had there. And that's no problem. Now, it does get deeper over there, I believe. So, we'll just go around, but we'll, we'll, we don't have to, you know, kind of go off here. We'll maybe try and cross over somewhere that isn't too deep. Um, let's, wow, we're doing some wall riding here. Okay, let, not too bumpy. Don't want to <laughs> flip and fall in the river. That would be terrible. Maybe we should just cross over. Yeah, that, that, that'll be better. Um, okay, and now, oh, what's this? I've never seen this before. Oh, it's some sort of little ramp. Okay, that's 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 really uninteresting. Let's 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 go back over here. All right, crossing back over the river after I've already done that. So we've we've done quite a few river crossings. I think like four now. So that's pretty good. Um, why don't we do something interesting? Why don't we turn our vehicle into a boat? Let's go down the bank here. And let's just cruise down the river. What's wrong with that? I mean, it's pretty shallow here. It does get deeper later, which we'll have to watch out for. But, I mean, this this is wor it's working well. It's, it's, ooh, ooh, bit deep there. Want to be careful. All right, the SS Gavril is uh, coming down here. And uh, we're, we're just going... Going down the river, I suppose. Okay, let's let's do this. I hope no water's coming in. I, I've got a feeling that it it might be. Let's go. Let's go inside. Okay, this is a proper river river crossing here, but we're going to continue. Yeah, we've got a bit of bit of water inside the cab. It looks like actually. Um, let's just keep going. We'll give it a bit of power. The temperature is is cold. Like we've we've got no heat at all because obviously well, the engine's basically being water cooled um, at this point, but we've still got air coming in. Uh, through the snorkel, so that's that's good. Um, but yeah, no, we're we're just continuing down the boat. This is my top speed right now. This is this is it. I'm I'm holding it down, and you can see the temperature starting to climb because uh, of what I'm doing. Um, but you know what? I think this is pretty much as deep as the river gets. What we really need is a map that has some deeper river crossings where we can properly um, test it out. But the snorkel has been useful to us today, so that is something uh, good, I suppose. Okay, and the river ends just here, so we can go all over and uh, exit out here. Or does it actually get deeper? Oh, a bit! This must be, that must be the deepest point in the river there that we just passed. Lovely! Okay, this is a bad spot to uh, hop out of the river, but it is not a problem for our custom-built off-roader. Okay, let's get back out here onto the dirt track, and we'll head back up towards the highway. Right up here. All right, well, everyone, that is pretty much going to do us all for today. So, hope you did enjoy uh, this video. Let me know if you want to see some different off-roading vehicles. I actually really enjoyed this episode, so if you want to see some different maps, different off-road vehicles, there are a bunch of my favorites that I do want to test out. Let me know down in the comment section below, and don't forget what I told you at the start of the video, Go and comment down below what games you want to see, maybe stuff that I've played before, maybe stuff I haven't yet. Uh, free games especially, little indie games, horror games, whatever you want to see, let me know down below. And especially if you enjoy the BeamNG content, be sure to go ahead and give us me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day. So, thank you all once again. Once again? Once, once again, that's beautiful. <laughs> and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.